Daddy, I feel like Terminator. I'll be back. Care for at least one animal every episode. Feed it, pet it, build it a nice home. What? <laughs> Do I need to? Okay. So the current rule, the government, the dear government, lovely government, there's no longer F5 mode, which is cool. Um, but we need to care for at least one animal every episode. We need to feed it. We need to pet it. And we need to build it a nice home. Do we need to build it a nice home every episode? I don't know. Is that, is that a th <laughs> I don't know. I don't freaking know. Anyway, dudes, uh, welcome back to another episode of Fool Craft. Hope everybody are doing fan-freaking-tastic. Dudes, today, uh, super excited, super pumped. Super pumped because uh, I I, I want to do some building. I want to start uh, and I want to share with you the new base style or come up with a new base style for this season. It's going to be a long season, right? And uh, I want to build like an epic base. <laughs> anyway, let's check if we've got any posts. Five dollar fine. Current rule not followed. Oh my goodness. Okay. I know I missed one, one time I missed that F5 mode. But I thought like... That's okay. Freedom, did you, did you, did you tell them? Freedom. Freedom. Free. 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 Let's, uh, let's pay the fine then. Five dollar, we put it there. Cool, the, the fine is paid. Um, I'm assuming that's how I do it. <laughs> how did they know that it's my five dollars? Anyway, uh, let's head back home, because like I said, I, I'm up to, I'm up to being, uh, being abilitive today. Um... Before we get started, though, I would like to get a jetpack. And I've been preparing this a little bit, uh, so all the uh, components are crafted. We have a few different tiers of jetpack. The higher tier, the better it is. This is a creative item you can't get. Um, the first one is the leadstone, holds 800,000 RF. The second one is the hardened, holds 3 million, electrum or reinforced, and the resonant one. And then this one turns into, I believe... Even no. How do I make the uh, flux infused? Flux infused. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need to armor the top tier jetpack to get the flux infused jet plate, which is like the best one. And then this one you can eventually turn into uh, the angel ring somehow. I thought. I don't know how that works. But uh, <laughs> if we look at angel ring. Uh, the creative flight stuff. Yeah, you need that in the center and then you need to do combination crafting It's a long way away, but we can at least get a basic jetpack um, We do need leather though, which if you watched last episode, we don't have leather However, I do have more rotten flesh because I put it in here didn't I? Yeah, didn't I? Didn't I put it in there? I did put it in there. So let's take this and let's make a bunch of it into leather Boop, Nice, very nice and I'm gonna go for the second tier. Like I said, I prepared everything here, so I've made the lead uh, leadstone capacitor. I've made the invert capacitor, and then boom, jetpack. And then the second one, we take the jetpack and the capacitor, and boom, hardened jetpack. Energetic infuser. Craft one of these guys as well. You could see I was prepared there. Uh, now this guy will stick in the wall here. Uh, because he drains a lot of power, so I don't want to run him wirelessly. I'm gonna connect him up to some cables. Energetic infuser. Boom, he should get power. And <clears throat> maximum power 50 RF per tick. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so slow. Okay, I'm gonna... Let's, let's, let's make some upgrade kits for him. Linkage concentrator. Allows for rechargeable items to be charged very rapidly. Yes, this is what we want. We want an upgraded... Thing. Can I make this? Is my hammer in there? Yeah. That's all that I can afford at the moment, Roops. Uh, that's the new nickname. <laughs> 100%. Okay, that goes in there. Yeah, look at that. Now, now it can charge unlimited with how much power we provide it with, I guess. Power uses 18,000 RF per tick. Yeah, we can't do that, but, uh, you know, uh, that's much quicker. And that's from this guy. Look at the difference there. <laughs> that's pretty insane. All right, another thing that we're gonna need um, to get is the blocks that we want to build with. So, uh, I've been I've been doing a little bit of sketching off camera, and I've come up with something that I think looks pretty 
pretty cool that I want to show you dudes. But to get there, I'm going to need to uh, get a little bit more smooth stone. So I'm going to put up an automatic automatic way here to make smooth stone. There is a fantastic block in this pack called the Stonework Factory. Stonework Factory. It's almost a little bit cheaty. It creates cobblestone and gravel and sand and glass and stone as long as you provide it with power. But uh, it requires pink slime and we don't have pink slime yet. We can't get it. Well, we could. We could get it. We could get it. But I'm not going to get it quite yet. Okay? <laughs> so instead... Uh, because we're producing cobblestone, I'm thinking we can just make a, a machine that exports cobblestone into a, re a resourceful furni, which I crafted up a second one, and then that gets exported into a drawer. Uh, and someone said that I should try and install energy upgrades, because that further increases the speed, and as you can see, with the speed upgrades, the energy that it's gonna use is 180, which we are not sending wirelessly. So let's put that in there and that in there, and now it's... Still 180. <laughs> the crap? Why did that not help? Oh, every 52 ticks and now it's every 39 ticks. So this basically increases the speed furthermore or even more. That's very interesting that it works that way. I think that may be a bug. Uh, I want to use the mist ones. The 11th mist that we, that we used last time for the uh, pearl club. <laughs> and then I want some kind of uh, darkish flooring. I think this flooring that we're using in the workshop actually is a very nice flooring. It's kind of it's kind of uh, half plain. I wouldn't say it's plain, but it's like it's like it's nice. I like it. Ooh, look at this block. That's an interesting block as well. Or oh, this one. <laughs> Can make some very nice details with these blocks. Wow, love them. Yeah, I definitely like this this guy for like a for like a flooring for the for the crap <laughs> for a base floor. And the, the reason I like it for a base floor is because it's kind of clean. So, <clears throat> when I build something, I want the I want certain things to be focused. Like in this room here, super simple. I want the top layer to be focused. I want this line to be focused. And I want the things on the side to be focused. The rest is kind of background. And you need a cool background for the foreground to look, look nice. But you don't want the background that's too busy. Because uh, this is like on the edge with this thing in the middle. It's on the edge. Did I drop any? Yeah. Okay. Boom. Yeah, so I think I want to go with these. And then um, these guys for the walls. And we're gonna we're gonna add detail obviously to this. Let's put our jetpack on, dudes. Let's fly. Come fly with me. Come fly. It's terrible. Come fly away with me. <laughs> it's not the quickest jetpack in the world. Daddy, I feel like Terminator. I'll be back. 30 seconds of flying with this jetpack and I'm already not happy with it. It's very, very hard to like get around. I got an idea though. Hang glider. Yes, this thing. Uh-huh. Old, good old 1.7 open blocks hang glider. Way before the elytra came. This thing is amazing. We go up. And then we right click. Nice. Look at us, daddy. We are flying a kite. Look at our hat as well. It's so bugged out. Oh, we can do this. A pickaxe is chasing me, daddy. No, careful. Oh, and I've been meaning to check out these two clouds for a very long time. I can do that now as well. See what pets we get. Speaking about which, we need to care for a pet. Spider pet. Hello. Uh oh, uh oh. Careful, careful. We're not- we're not very powerful at the moment. Eh! Are you serious? Did I- What happened? I was half life! Stupid blaze... Cloud blaze... Freaking thinking they're an angel on the- On a cloud in the sky, just... Bullying and being stupid freaking. I hate- I hate- I hate that blaze. I don't like him. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Why did they do so much damage? That was insane! Let's check out the second one. This time... Oh my goodness, look at the damage they deal! What the crap? <laughs> I mean... It seems to be some vanilla thing as well, like when he attacks me, or when he like walks into me. Uh, Ender... Enchanting, enchanting. 
pet thing. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'll take that. Quick little intermission here in my building of a base. Uh, <laughs> the server has crashed twice. Every time I've like unloaded my base and came come back. And the crash logs are complaining about these power cells. Um, which I used during alpha testing and never had issues with. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try and uh, maybe maybe it's because they can't really be formed like that. Maybe they'll have to be formed like that. I ain't, I ain't sure. <laughs> but you can clearly see that that creates a, a thing. Um, or maybe... Okay, so this does not connect. If I put that to blue... No. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna change that out just... Uh, Unfortunately, because I wanted to use this information screen. That was so nice. <laughs> I feel sad now. But uh, we've submitted it uh, to McJiddy, who's made this mod. And hopefully he can fix it. But until uh, until that is fixed, I don't want the server to be crashing here for everybody. So changing it out to uh, a uh, thermal, thermal expansion energy cell. I think that should be just as good as two of these. Uh, I can hold... We can hold 2 million, so we can actually hold a little bit more as the same transfer speed. We could always just slam an upgrade on it, actually. So it used to be so that you crafted the upgraded ones, but now, boom, you apply the upgrade kits to them. And uh, there we go. That's fantastic. Let's put this block right there. Yeah, so now this guy can transfer 4,000 and it can hold 8 million RF. It's really hard to find a place here. I think I've slept through the night six times, <laughs> so that's how long I've just been... Flying around, um, basically, let's 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 do it like this. Basically, my idea for a base is to take up a lot of the areas around the mountains here, and to kind of encase area 85 in this mountainous gorgeousness. All right, um, build both inside walls and inside caves and outside uh, caves as well. And I think over here, like on the backside, is probably one of the prime positions for like a main part of this uh, down here and then I've decided after a lot of humming and umming that maybe over here I placed on a mega torch so we should be fine yeah uh, hello there Zombert you know what you didn't despawn because you picked up your buddy's freaking flesh <laughs> stupid moron yeah in here in here I think is not uh, too bad. This could be a pretty cool location. So, <clears throat> the vault where we store our richities, I kind of want it to be built into uh, a mountain because, like, that would make sense. You know, it's uh, about security and stuff. I kind of want a pathway through here because there's a hole there. We could make, like, a tunnel section of the base leading from there to there. Things like that are so important. So, let's plan for that. So pathway would lead through like that. This would be like a corner. And then maybe inwards this way, we'll put the vault. And I think that could be really cool. And I think that would make sense. So, uh, what Y level is this thing? It's like the hardest thing ever when you start your base in any <laughs> pack of Minecraft. That the, just to get it started. Because it feels like everything is on stake. <laughs> if that makes sense. 128. Okay. So, is that a good center point? Will I have enough space? Uh, yeah, maybe. We can always do it more if, if we don't. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get our old friends, oh, the fools. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna do an 11 by 11. I actually want this room to yes, be 11 by 11 oh, inside. Yes, so, maybe I will, maybe I'll want a little bit bigger of an area than 11 by 11 to begin with. So that we can design the walls. But, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know we look at these very often, but I can't get enough of them. I love them so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm almost ready to uh, start building this, and I've you can see I've got some more blocks now. <laughs> yes, I've got some more blocks. Don't you worry. Uh, but before I uh, before I start, I want to craft something up and show you guys this amazing mod called exchangers this was a big part of me re needing so much ender pearls and stuff um and blaze now we could crush this to get blaze powder but i'm just gonna do that because we got so much anyway uh exchangers come in different tiers you got some from immersive engineering that uh, runs on power and then you have some vanilla ones that runs on durability 
I'm gonna go with the vanilla ones. And I'm gonna need some red dye. I wanna try and craft, like, maybe the iron tier or diamond tier. They get very expensive very quickly. <laughs> and each one requires the previous one. Emerald exchanger. Can I make the obsidian one? I may be able to. Yeah. It's gonna be very expensive, like a stack of diamonds in, or so in, inside this. But there we go. Obsidian exchanger. These are absolutely... <laughs> absolutely fantastic when building there are similar similar ones uh, to these in the uh, in botania and tomcraft but these are the tech ways of doing things and i've been playing around with these a lot in the alpha testing and they're they've never failed me <laughs> so uh, check it out dudes i've been laying out the uh the vault how i wanted to uh the layout how i wanted to look how i want the layout to look and basically this is a thing that i'm gonna try with my build style this season um I can change this, by the way, all the way up to 15. Yeah, all the way up to 15. Keep it at 7 by 7. I'm going to try and make, like, simple shapes that I then carve into uh, prettiness. So this here, from that block here to here, is just an 11 by 11. And then we got some more space for a walkway. Uh, but then I want it to look like a vault, so I, like, changed it up to, like, a sphere or a cylinder room. And so my idea is, and this is why I wanted the exchanger. Look at this. <laughs> We're going to put this stuff on the wall. That's going to be our main background block. Um, for now, we may uh, we may uh, have different uh, background blocks for different rooms. But that's the mist block from X-Tones. I like it very much. Boom. Ah, uh, such a pleasurable little item. <laughs> nice. So, okay. Uh, another thing that I'm doing different this season with my base building is that I want to be... I want to have a lot of different modules. I want to have a, ro a lot of different rooms, basically, and a lot of different, like, functionality things. So that's also a reason for the choice of 11 by 11, because it ain't really big. It doesn't host too much, but it's big enough to be an independent room. Oh, my goodness. This already looks a little bit like a vault. I like it. So the idea is we're going to have... Hmm. I want to have some drawers in the walls here. Uh, that will host our richities. And do I want a 3x3 three three there? Or maybe a 5x3? Yeah, maybe we'll have a 5x3 of drawers. And that's gonna be a lot of drawers. So maybe we'll have the... Uh, maybe we'll have two spaces on the sides here. Where we store our drawers. And I got some plans to make that really cool looking. And then, I don't know about the front. I don't know if we should have drawers there as well. And keep it to, a, to just a vault. Um... Maybe? Yeah, maybe that could be cool. Anyway, I'll deal with that in a, in a minute. Then for the floor, let's try this out now. So I wanted to use this stuff. Shift right click. Oh, it's such a pleasurable building thing. I can't get enough of this thing. And this is just a one by one setting. Nine by nine. Out of block. <laughs> That's the other thing though. <laughs> you run out of blocks really quick. Really quick. And I don't even have any. I don't even have any more on me. But yeah, I think this is going to look great. Meet Pete. Pete is the most amazing, fantastic little pet in the world. Me and Pete usually jumps around in the fields of gold. Sometimes we go hunting for food together. He is a feisty, feisty pet. He is a big food lover. He loves to eat. C come on. Pete, t t take the food. Eat. Eat! Stupid. We have parties ev almost every day, me and Pete. And I pet him so nicely afterwards. Pete is uh, an inventor. And uh, he invented uh, mini TNTs. He loves to go out and blow up pigs every now and again. Usually on Tuesdays. It's his favorite little thing to do. Pete lives in a beautiful castle that I helped build for him. His bed is a chance cube. He sleeps on the sixth side. <laughs> Alright, my dude. So, a couple of hours later, I uh, I had to uh, try out a few different things and, and test a few different things. But uh, we got a very plain looking vault that at least looks a little bit like a vault. I've made some custom drawers, drawers, and I made some 
uh, holes and uh, it, it, it's it's not that impressive yet but uh it's definitely uh got that feeling that i wanted it to have very plain though we'll fix that don't you worry you pretty little self um we're gonna start adding detail now <clears throat> one thing that i've been thinking about here is uh the entry door okay uh, I want to make something a little bit special, and let's fill this in. I made a 5x5 five five here. Fairly large door, like usually I'd go 3x3. Three three. <laughs> but I think 5x5 five five looks really cool. Uh, and what I would like is a door that opens uh, when you get here, and then you get in, and then it closes behind us, sort of thing. There are a few different ways we can achieve that in this pack. I'm gonna go with... Uh, let's put these away. I'll show you. I'll be pl I've been playing around a bit with chiseling bits. I'll show you why in a second. Not gonna do chiseling bits on camera, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna go with the shield projector and the shields from RF Tools. Uh, I've used these before. I think Hermit Pack was the last time I used them. They are very neat. Uh, and you know what? We're actually feeling safe now. I feel very safe. Our rent is online as well. Um, I'm actually gonna need, I think I can't use my normal crescent hammer here, but we'll, we can try it out. So these guys are basically projecting a shield that you can configure just the way you want. Like you can make it so that only I can go through it. You can make so, so that it's like a, a blocked thing. Uh, let's see, can I form that shield by, oh yeah, I can. Okay, so this wrench does seem to work. That's cool. But I did forget my wireless transmitters because that guy required power. I, <laughs> I remember now. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna it, it's gonna require power. We're gonna use a, a transmitter, and I think I need to extend my GP now because <clears throat> we are oh nice server restart all over my screen, beautiful. Yeah, uh, we're using sixteen point thirty eight, so that's fine during daytime. But now that it's gonna hit nighttime, it's gonna shut off. I think, but that's providing this guy with power. I don't think it needs a lot. It needs a little bit of power per operation. But check that out. Already it's formed a shield, and I think by default it doesn't actually do anything. We can just walk through it, but it has that cool look. Uh, is this guy still producing? No, no, now it's losing out. Okay, so interesting. With this just running, it's actually draining power constantly. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, but we can customize this. We could set it to a block if we want to. Like, we can make it look like stone, I think. And then if I reinitiate it like that... No, that's not how that... Oh, we need to change this to Mimic. Yeah. Reinitiate it. Look at that. Now it looks like stone, but we can walk through it. Pretty good for traps and stuff later on. Uh, I would like to make this into... I think I like the shield one. We can make it transparent shield texture, solid shield tex texture. Let's just have a look at that. Oh, that's pretty neat as well. <laughs> looks pretty weird. Um... No, I think I like the uh, the regular shield, and I think I want to go with like a yellow, yeah, yellow. Because you can see I used the caution blocks here. I did. Don't freaking judge me. I think they're nice, and I want to use them. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we need to configure it so that it's uh, not allowing anything through. So I'm going to set this to solid, matches everything, add. So now that should act like a, a blockade. Yeah. And you can't mine this. So no one can, like, break it. That's good <laughs> for security measurements. Um, and we can make it so that this is off to activate, on to activate. No, we want it off to activate, I think. Is that what we want? Let's reinitiate it. Boop, boop. Yeah, so it's, it's still on. And then if I give it a redstone signal, <clears throat> it shuts off. Cool. That's exactly what we want. Yeah. So... That's neat. Okay. Um, <laughs> we don't want to have a lever there, though. That's kind of ugly. We don't want to have a lever. And deeds, I've been... This has taken me hours to, to come up with. But I think I got a pretty neat and different plan of dealing with this. The very first thing is the fact that this thing doesn't have a sound. There's no... I would like it to be like... Shoof, shoof, or something like that, right? And... I got a plan for how we can possibly create a sound using Malice's Door's Door Factory. This block allows us to uh, uh, to specify and create a door just the way we want it. I'm going to put this to vanishing. Um, it doesn't really matter, movement. Uh, we want to set it to uh, double door, no. Opening time, I don't know if that matters. I, the only thing that I want is the, do uh, is the sound here. 
Uh, let's try the pneumatic sound. I actually don't know how these sounds. And then we need it to close afterwards as well. Like we need the we need the sound from closing. So maybe if I set that to six, and this to, I don't know if that affects the sound. You'll see why what I'm doing here in a second. We need to give it materials. So I got to give it some stone because it doesn't matter. We can choose to get choose to give it a code. We did that in her in Foolcraft one. Not gonna do that for this though. Then create. The only thing that's important here is the sound. I like it. I like it. I think it's uh, way too quick though. <laughs> so if I put auto close delay to 24. Let's try that. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay, so basically what I want to try and do here is make it so that that's the sound we hear when we get in. And I think that should be super simple. If the lever is down there, uh, did I not bring redstone? I've been mining redstone, but I've been running out again because there are so many components to what I've been sketching here that's going to require us to have redstone. Uh, let's try and do that. And then put you there. Why is this not formed anymore? I'm confused. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now... I like that, okay. So now what happens if I place a button here instead and give it a pulse instead of a lever? Oh, that's perfect. So now we have a sound and it's actually this door that makes the sound, but we'll hide that so that we so that we only get the illusion of the sound, right? Maybe a little bit too quick still. I, I'll play around with that. Uh, now, I don't want a button to open this thing. I don't want a button to open this thing. So... <laughs> This is one of my favorite blocks, and I haven't actually uh, used it since Survival Stories 2. The Ender Overseer... Survival Stories 2 was like four years ago, by the way. <laughs> the Ender Overseer is a block from Botania, which, when you look at it, it will output a redstone signal. You see that? How cool is that? So, I want to try... Let's just, um, let's just do something simple to begin with. So, if I have this block sitting... Um, up here. Yeah, that's gonna... It's gonna open the door for us. Boom, 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 boom. Very quick pulse though, because when I stop looking at it, it stops, uh, it stops the door from being open. But super, super cool. Now, remember how I said that I've been playing around with chisel and bits? I... This is a vault, so I want to make it so that we have eye recognition with using the Ender Overseer and a few other mechanics here. Uh, eye recognition for opening that door. Check this out. I made, like I said, I'm gonna get all my chisel and bit stuff, actually. I prepared a, a special block that I made for us, and for now, let's just do this here. Boom. Yes. So, this is a block with a chisel and bit hole in the middle. That's all it is. And I just designed a little nice, like, metal, metal thing around it. So if we put the Ender Overseer behind here, because the problem with the Ender Overseer, we're trying to be like futuristic, but it, it's kind of magical, right? But now, look look at that. The only thing we see is a green thing, and then when we look at it, it, it blinks red. How cool is that? All right, that's linked up. Let's try that out. Should work. Hello? Oh, that's not sending that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look at that. I look at it, it opens the door. That's so cool. So freaking sweet. <laughs> okay, now the other problem here is obviously the speed of which this opens in. That's it's way too quick. It's kind of it's kind of like yeah, we can't we can't get through there. So we gotta deal with that next. And I would like to actually grab a torch. Can I can I please please let me in my own vault? Ah, it's too secure for me, daddy. <laughs> All right, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a few modded blocks. Well, this is a modded block, uh, but we're gonna use a few modded blocks to make this redstone behave a little bit better. Now, this is why I love modded. To all of you vanilla hardcore fans out there, dudes, I love vanilla as well, but I love building uh, contraptions in modded where, you know, you get to be creative with a little bit more options. So here's what we're gonna do. There is a block called the sequencer this guy here from rf tools very easy to craft and this guy will allow us to basically set the length of a redstone signal uh we can you can do a lot of things with this block actually it's one of the best blocks <laughs> best redstone control things but uh very very basic here um if uh, you can you can fill these in like how you want 
If these are black, that means that there's no redstone signal on that game tick. If they are white, there's a redstone signal on that game tick. So, for example, look, pay attention to that wire there. That followed the pattern of this. Now, what this means is if I would set this to clear and then go like, leave it a delay, this is going to act like a repeater. Um, and we'll just fill in all of these bottom ones. Now it's going to wait and then I'll put a signal. And it's going to output a signal for, for a specific amount of time, right? Um, <clears throat> if I combine that with a repeater, we may get a perfect time here. Uh, for opening this. Now, instead of running a redstone wire here, we're going to use wireless redstone as well, which is another very neat feature. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I can put a block on top of this. So let's put a repeater here. And then we're going to do a wireless receiver, a redstone receiver. And let me remind me. Yeah, right click on a receiver to use that channel. Okay, so we put a receiver up here with the orange arrow facing the repeater. Um, cool. And then we're going to use a transmitter. I'm going to right click that. That sets it to a channel, channel 14. Uh, and if I, in theory, if I hook this up like right over here, that should send a signal up to that redstone right here. And then we can do something like that to power the door, I assume. So now let's try this out. Waiting. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that is good. We can get through. Okay. So I'm going to tweak this a little bit. I want the door to stay open a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to probably add some delay or I'm probably going to gonna make this stay, stay awake a little bit longer. Uh, but add a repeater before I get to this. So maybe make it like that. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. But that is the basic idea of the door here. I love it. I love it. But stay tuned. It gets even better for my next idea. All right, dudes, many hours has passed. Your Iskal has been hard at work. And dudes, this, this is good. This is, I'm happy with this. So <laughs> I finished the vault. Well, there, there may still be some things that I want to do that I'm not happy with the ceiling. But check this out, functionality wise. Oh my goodness. So first door, can't enter it. Got to use our eye scan recognition. Boop. And we're in. And I also made it so that we can get out. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's get back in though. <laughs> uh, and then I decided to go with a transparent looking shield rather than this uh, shield texture shield texture for the locking mechanism of our drawer. So the, the idea is you get into this room, you need uh, the eye scanning access, which obviously only I have. But then once you get in here in order to actually access our goodies, you need to get through this. Now, this is a little bit different. This took a little bit of time to like come up with, but uh, as you can see, nothing happens when I'm looking at this thing, uh, as opposed to this thing where I just like, boop, and it opens. That's because this thing requires me to look, right click, enter a code, which of course, you know, I'm, I'm gonna change this, this code later, it's not for public, but uh, enter a code, press enter, you hear the click, and boom, it opens. There we go. It's like a security vault that I have these installed on all of these guys. And all I did to achieve that, if we take a look behind here, I don't think I have any torches though, so it's going to be... I, I do have a little bit of torches. Um, all I did to achieve this, if you want to do this in your own world, is I created a door in Malice's door. Uh, doors, I used glass because I thought it gave a pretty cool effect from over here. Um, and that that door has a code. It has the 85 code. Um, <clears throat> and then it's basically the same mechanics. I added a note block to get that little click sound. It has a glass block underneath it. Although I can't really show it to you because I've been trying to be compact. But yeah, it has a glass block underneath. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, that's all it uh, really is. Of course, you know, anyone can break the blocks and that kind of stuff. But you can't break these and... Uh, you know, you don't want to break the other blocks. That's griefing. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I decided to go with the uh, lights from Ender.io. I think they fit the theme very well. And I played around with different themes here for a long time. Um, like changing this texture up for something else. Uh, I found the factory blocks from Chisel uh, that I've never used before in anything. These look really good. And it's almost like a contender to have in the corners. But there is something about the cleanliness that just appeals to me. It looks like raw steel. 
uh, if that makes sense. And it, it really appeals to me. And it's more brighter or brighter than I usually build my factories. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm thinking is I'll probably add in some details using chisel and bits and stuff in the future. Uh, but I'm gonna keep chisel and bits to streams and off camera. I'm not gonna do it in YouTube videos because I know you guys don't like it. Uh, but it's cool to be able to modify blocks into this and stuff. But anyway, dudes, super happy with this. Super, super happy with it. So now the idea with this whole room is that we will be able to come in here and like store our valuables. And yes, it is it is a security system, so it closes very quickly. So I gotta open it again. <laughs> So this will host all our valuables of... Oh, crap. Come on. I've made it too secure. Boom. We'll store all of our valuables, like our diamonds and uh, our ingots and all that stuff. Um, we'll also store some valuable blocks in here. And we'll connect it all up to our refined storage system in the end so that we are able to, to snag things easily out of here, of course. Um... Don't know if I want to do something in the center here. I got a little bit of an idea for a mod that I want to get into that may fit this uh, room to put in here, the core of that mod. But we're not quite there yet, so we'll get there eventually. <laughs> but anyway, dudes, I've spent the entire day with this. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's a little bit of modded redstone magic, and I'm really, really proud of it. And and I'm gonna gonna try and try and continue with this type of style and these types of builds throughout my base as we as we go here um <clears throat> and uh yeah hope you learned something or or got inspired if you dudes uh, did enjoy the video hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new but thank you so much for watching i uh wish you a fan freaking fantastic evening and i'll see you dudes in the next episode